left for voters in more than a dozen states to choose between presidential candidates. Super Tuesday voting is winding down across the country. Voting is happening along these lines in 15 states and one U.S. territory. Hundreds of delegates are at stake. Atlanta News First political reporter Doug Reardon joins us live tonight in downtown Atlanta. And Doug, Georgians vote just one week away from today. Could what happens today impact our turnout? Yeah, it absolutely could. Right down to the number of candidates that will be on the Georgia ballot. That is certainly something uh, that people are going to want to know. Who are they going to be voting for? And, you know, we don't vote in Super Tuesday, but you don't have to wait. Early voting is going on in Georgia right now at precincts like the one here in Fulton County, downtown Atlanta. I've seen signs like this around the building. I promised them I would put this one back. But uh, like we said, a lot of eyes are going to be on Georgia's early voting numbers uh, for some candidates who are determining if they're even going to be in the a week from today. Even though Georgia's primary is still a week away on this Super Tuesday. Good afternoon, sir. I'm Royce with the New Georgia Project. Canvassers with the New Georgia Project were out, making sure the voters had a plan for the polls. It's important to make sure people decide who is running in charge of their community, in charge of their state, and in charge of their country. Choices may be limited at the top of the ticket by the time Peach State voters cast their ballots. President Joe Biden is the de facto Democratic nominee, and the future of GOP candidate Nikki Haley's campaign hinges on what happens with the 15 states in one territory voting on Tuesday. So I think her staying in the race is important for democracy. Emily Matthews is with Primary Pivot, a group supporting Haley for the GOP nomination over former President Donald Trump. She says voters should have choices in primary races. That is the whole point. Last time I checked, this is still a democracy, and I think, you know, the I don't really understand why we are so sad on having everything decided within the first couple states. Haley hasn't said if she'll end her campaign after Super Tuesday, instead focusing on Republican voters who may not want Donald Trump, which polls show is a fair share. And she'll be looking to Georgia's early voting results as a bellwether. Today's results and how many early voters turn out in Georgia today is going to be a good indicator to her campaign, a good signal as to whether they should continue to fight. And so as always, Georgia matters. Just to give you those dates again, March 12th, that is one week from today on Tuesday, that is going to be our primary presidential preference uh, election here. And again, you have until March 8th, that is this upcoming Friday, to vote early in person if that is how you want to cast your ballot. We're from downtown Atlanta tonight. Doug Reardon, Atlanta News First.